back. On back. On back. Right there's good. Just hold her there. Alright, we're on, buddy. What's up with it, fat boy? How you doing there, buddy? Oh, it's not bad, man. How about you? Not too bad. Alright, well, bring her on up. Be easy with her, bud. She she needs some loving, that's for sure. What's cracking, y'all? Welcome back to Out Loud Doors, guys. I figured I'd make this video right now because I'm a little embarrassed. You guys will probably see it on someone else's channel, not mine soon. Uh, the boat right here, I will show you guys in just a second. Um, had some issues and that's kind of why we haven't been uploading another reason we haven't been uploading is because we were we had a giant bow fishing trip to mississippi planned that got canceled as well apologize but uh we uh we're trying over here man we're trying over here let's get into this man this is a pretty crazy story i don't have any footage of it uh one of the world's strongest men robert oberst was here He's got some good footage of it. I think it's going to be on his channel soon. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's back this thing up. This is actually Fat Boy's learning to back up a trailer, and he's starting to do pretty good on it. So see how he does. Come on, man. Yes, sir. Wrong way. There you go. Yeah. Turn it a little bit this way. No other way. Sorry. You know what I mean. Yep. There you go. Good job. Yep. Straighten her out. You got her. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep 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 coming, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You good right there? No, you need to the fat boy. Stop! <laughs> nice. He's getting her. Oh, hi. Do you know where my phone is? Uh. Uh, I saw it. I saw it somewhere. Somewhere, I don't know where, but I saw it somewhere. You're Fat boy, thanks for being the cameraman. Uh, this battery's out. Marine battery, the other batteries. Um, let's just say this. The boat was within a minute of sinking. And a lot of good decisions were made uh, to where this boat did not sink. But I feel like if we took any measures a little bit further, this boat would be underwater right now at the lake down the road. I was taking one of the world's strongest men, Robert Oberst, out to go bow fishing, him, his girl, and his camera guys. We were all gonna go out there. Um, I put the boat in the water, everything seemed to be fine. And right before Robert, who's 400 pounds, the limit on this guy is 575. I mean, he's a big boy. Right before he stepped on there, I said, hey, hold the boat for a second because, uh, I don't hear something right. And I look into the hole and it is filling up with water so fast, I can't even believe it. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, I, I put the boat plug in. I'm like, it should be fine. I don't know what's going on. Well, come on down here and I'll show y'all what happened. You see that giant hole right there? That perfect little hole right there? Mm -hmm. That is the drain for the live well, which I never use. Somehow, the son of a dick sheared off and popped open, I guess, with the pressure of it going into the water. I don't even know how it sheared off. Everything else is fine. If you can see right here, this is my filter for the, uh, to, this is like the, um, what sucks water into the live well with the filter. And this is the drain for the live well. This is the boat plug, right? I had this, this, uh, you know, was, was uh, plugged off. So this was fine. This was completely fine, but this right here, giant hole, water was rushing in there. I'm telling y'all right now, if Robert, who's 400 pounds, stepped on the boat, I just showered. Apologize. <laughs> Damn you, wind. If Robert, who's 400 pounds, stepped on the boat, within one minute, we probably would have sunk, if I didn't know. And thank God, one of his camera guys knew how to back in a boat quick, because I rammed this thing on the trailer. I mean, guys, the whole haul was filled with water. The batteries, I mean, the water was up to here. It was starting to overflow on the sides to here. It was so bad. Um, I think my batteries are fine. You know, they're all marine batteries, so they should be okay. The only thing that's bad is the uh, my converter in here for my bow fishing lights. 
that guy is for sure toasted. This is the piece. So this is what this is the piece that goes into the boat like this. And th this outer edge, you can see, it's just completely sheared off here. Don't know how it happened at all. Like, never hit anything. Gosh dang it, just focus. Never hit anything on the boat. Never backed in anything. Uh, if, if I did, you know, the motor would be screwed up as well. Or maybe the filtration uh, part right there would be dented in or something. So I don't know how, you know, this basically goes like that. Um, that's how it usually works. Um, and uh, I don't know what happened to the son of a dick. Got a new piece here. It's got the boat plug in it right now. Obviously, I don't use my live well, so we'll shove in there. We'll just plug it up so no water uh, can get in there or whatever. And then uh, we'll put some marine grade sealant, which I've had for a while that I've never used. This is some good stuff right here, and it cures fast. So let's go ahead and rig this up really quick. And then I actually have an idea for the live well. You do. I don't think I've told you yet, but I got an idea for the live well that um, since we never use it, this kind of whole experience just reminded me that we should probably do it. Okay, I mean, I'm game. And then it'll have some more room in the boat. That's always a good thing. It's a small boat. All right, yeah. Especially when you get you know, this fat ass in there. <laughs> first things first, need some PB blaster, something to lube this guy up here. We need to fit this inside of the hole like so okay we're gonna put some sealant on the back edge of this but first things first we're gonna shove that in there and we need to get this hose onto the edge of it um this guy's a little longer than the original one that we had so we need to lube it up a little bit mm-hmm yummy it's like yeah. last night right <laughs> that's right take a deep breath i mean um, take a deep breath uh, I have no idea. All right, here, I'll hold this in, then you screw it on. All right. I'll stick it in the hole there. Stick it in the hole. Now screw that in, Don. Get in there. Get in there. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. <laughs> if we started the vigil like this, you don't know what you'd be looking at. <laughs> don't get it all the way on the arm. Put that stuff on the all back. Right, let me take it back. Actually, I might as well. We should probably get that hose on first. Look at that cheap-ass stuff. What the dick, dude? That's why you just gotta use your bare hands, man. Gotta use your bare hands, man. Yeah. You know, I gotta ask some of y'all, cause I know some, you know, everybody's an expert in the YouTube comments, you know. But uh, my question is, you know, when, when you're working on trucks and stuff like that, do you guys use gloves? Cause I know Dan, dang, my buddy Dan, he started using gloves when he was a mechanic because he was so sick of having to wash his gosh dang hands every night. I don't like to use gloves. Um, I don't mind washing my hands or whatever, but some people just automatically use gloves because they don't want to get their stuff, you know, the nasty stuff. I'd rather just wash my hands because I have more control. What do y'all like? What do y'all like? What I like, do you like? I like going bare skinned. I use gloves when I gotta use like adhesives and other stuff that I don't really want to get on to like, because you get lube on you, it's gonna be a bitch to grip stuff. So oh. that's why for that, the gloves are nice well, now. that's the point of lube, dude. God dang, man. Duh. Is this $5 part? Almost cost me my whole $30,000 boat. It's absolutely insane how scary it was. I've never, you know, when you're a boat owner, you know, most people are like, what does boat stand for? Bust out another thousand. I mean, there's, oh yeah, you're getting it. I mean, just try to get it on there as much as you can. It doesn't have to go all the way. Oh, there we go. Yeah, bud. Yeah, bud. It's on there a lot better. Yeah, it definitely is. And we got Mullet Man coming down in a couple days and we're taking the boat out a couple times. So I wanna make sure it is perfect and pristine. Uh, we'll fill this guy up with water as well, make sure it doesn't leak and everything like that. I don't know if the converter is gonna be okay. I don't have an extra one, so we're gonna see. You tighten down that clamp right now? Yeah. Cool. Don't over tighten it. You know, it is that weird plastic I don't really know about. Um, the quality of the grade of the plastic? Yeah, I don't exactly know, man. It was 10 bucks, so. I, I think it's good enough. Gotta be careful. But some of y'all also were like, hit me up on social media, like, aren't you supposed to be in Mississippi? Aren't you supposed to be in Mississippi? Yes, we were. Uh, we were heading down to Mississippi to go see my buddy Hughes to go bow fish for some giant alligator gar on the Mississippi River. Um, but the, the dates that we had planned uh, this weekend, basically, or this past weekend, um, it just was pouring every day. So I moved the flights to, I think we leave in a couple weeks and we'll head down there. So those vidges are coming. Uh, it's just 
the weather was not and you, it, you guys know with bow fishing if there's cloud cover and if it's raining it's just a pain in the ass and it's so hard to find fish you want bluebird skies like this with barely any clouds and you don't want any wind it's got to be perfect if you want a really good day out on the water that's what kind of sucks about bow fishing every once in a while you know when you're bass fishing or walleye fishing or you know pike fishing or whatever like you can catch them in all different types of weather um you know because they're suspended under the water but when you're trying to see something that's on top of the water uh you need perfect conditions did you tighten that hose clamp down uh yeah all yeah, right hose clamp's tight. on we're gonna clean this guy up right here because there's that pv blaster that's all over it we don't want anything messing with that sealant so clean it off real nice and this is some fast acting sealant so some good stuff from 3m it's pretty stupid to be honest guys since i don't use my live well i could probably just weld this whole hole up yeah. but i don't have an aluminum welder or any time so this is as best as we can do at this moment. Mm, we have a knife. I've got my short shorts on today. Look at my outfit, man. Hey. Well, bye. Trusty Dusty Spider Co. I don't know. I don't want to get it. It's going to be a little messy, dude. I should have got. Actually, do you have any gloves? I don't like to use gloves. Oh, well, I was gloving up. I am gloving up with this because this stuff's nasty. Oh yeah, it's already freaking like drying, dude. Hurry up, you son of a dick. Insults will get you nowhere. You are literally a son of a dick. That ain't an insult. Everybody's a son of a dick. I mean Well, I guess you could be a daughter of a dick. You could be a daughter of a dick. Alright, that's what she looks like here. But I want to get a wrench and tighten it down on the back side. And then I'm gonna put this sealant right here, all on the outside, which I'm gonna do right now. We got her nice and sealed on the outside. We'll do it on the back side as well once it gets her tight. You know, I used to work up in Alaska, and we used to do this type of stuff all the time with any of our bolts or anything in the hull. And this was like my job. I would go around and seal up any cracks or whatever and it's kind of sketchy especially since like you know we were on a million dollar boat up in alaska and you're in charge of sealing it up so there's no leaks it gets a little uh gets a little sketchy but it's one of those things that like it's pretty much the only thing you can do unless you want to just like weld it shut <sighs> got a little excited Apologize. So here's a live well right here. Basically, if we fill this guy up, it'll come out right where the uh, the hole that we just filled. That's where it'll go. So what we're gonna do is once that dries, we'll put the boat plug in there um, and shove it in there for when we actually do get in the water. So obviously it doesn't take any water because then this'll just fill up and then it'll, you know. Since we never used the live well, but it is insulated in there, I say, why don't we turn it into a cooler? This is a freaking camouflage redneck boat. And we don't have a built-in cooler? No. This is the guy right here. Right there? I say we plug it up and go get some ice. How about that? Sounds good. All right. Also, we do need to plug this thing up anyways, just in case any water does get in. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. If you look in here, here will be our little cooler. Just like that. Just like that. Get all the ice from the freezer. Mm-hmm. Here you go ahead, I'll switch you. All right. All right. Got it. Got it. All right, I'm gonna bounce this up here. Load this up. Oh. Fill it with beer. Oh my gosh, that looks so good, dude. We actually need more ice, man. It's time we go now. Oh, dude, that is great. We have it completely sealed on the back still just a little wet but it's it's looking pretty tight and then on the inside i'll show y'all that we got it completely tight down in there as well that's how i was set up before we just have a different piece in there there was like 10 bucks almost sunk my gosh dang boat so that is definitely not good but hey we worked hard today man we did it only took us five minutes we worked hard i think it's time for a brisky what do you think i hear you let's go head up in here oh dude we got a nice surprise, Ooh. little cold Corona. 
Oh yeah, dude, this is gonna be awesome on the boat. What do you think? Man, we don't have a can opener on here though. Oh, no, I mean, you know what I do got? Oh, yeah. I think it's on the back of the boat right there. Grab that son of a dick. Who needs a gosh dang bottle opener when you got a can of beautiful Outlaw Dip? Outlaw Dip that cap. Toss it. Almost go oh. overboard. Here's how you do it right here. Take your can of Outlaw Dip. You guys never done this before. Here you go. You get your bottle of beer. Hold it like this. You get your can of Outlaw Dip. You put it under the top right there. And you put your index finger underneath of the dip can. And then all you got to do is get a good grip on it and pop up. Just like that. Apologize. There's yours. Thank you. Mine. Oh, that's a good sound. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, brother. Good work. Boat is fixed. Yeah. Let's not tell him it's 10 in the morning, though. Yeah. All right, y'all. So that's going to do it for today. I just wanted to inform y'all a little bit on what the tits have been going on. Why wow, we haven't been uploaded. We haven't uploaded in like five or six days. So I apologize for that. But the boat is now fixed. We're going to, Mullet Man is coming. We are going to a specific lake to Bowfish Pike. Okay. Bowfish Pike, of all things, when he's here to see if we can get that done. As well as what you and I are doing in about an hour. We are heading north and we are going to be doing some pigeon and dove hunting today. <laughs> at a brand new dairy farm that we just got permission on, which is gonna be freaking awesome. So stay tuned for that as well. Make sure to hit subscribe and slap that bell, turn notifications on, because sometimes YouTube doesn't like to put us in your sub box. Apologize for that, don't have any control. Cheers, y'all. Love ya, out loud doors. And we out, y'all. Holler. I got this scar on my elbow. From always elbowing the camera. And I elbow dropped the like button on every single one of my videos, so. Sorry. Lo siento. Dipping, spitting in my mud jug every day. It's what I love and it's how I get laid. Jealous sons of dicks gon' comment that's gay. Dipping and spitting in my mud jug every day. Yeah, it's a lifestyle. But it's also a weakness.